All right. Whew. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm late, guys. I'll make it up to you. This is going to be a really cool stream. I'm very excited about it. We're going to be doing freaking macarons today. No, it wasn't enough? Man, you guys led me astray. I told you that wasn't enough. I was like, she said three minutes. We, I trust Sally. I'm sorry, guys. I love you guys, but like, I trust Sally. If Sally says it's about three minutes, I'm listening to her. Fuck. All right. Okay. Now uh, it says using a metal spoon or rubber spatula, fold in the confectioner's sugar slash almond flour mixture until combined. Be very gentle. Um, once it is completely combined, the mixture will be smooth, sticky, and glossy. Let me see if I can find a bigger spatula. Um, uh, oh, I can, use, I can use this one. This one's, this one's good. This one's pretty big. Do I know how to fold? All I know is to like be very gentle and like try not to stir and just try to fold. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, so we want to uh, mix this or fold this carefully and gently until just combined. Oh shit, or we could just throw the whole thing in there. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. Okay, so this is our almond meal and our confectioner sugar, AKA powdered sugar. So. We wanna do this until just combined, I think. So, like, pretty much once the dry ingredients are fully incorporated, we're just going to stop. I thought it sounded nice. But the reason I bring it up is because the- <laughs> Ah! Oh, no! What did I do? This thing fell and smushed my cookies! My cookies got smushed. No. Like uh, like these ones accidentally are touching. But these ones, they have feet. They're not cracked. I mean, I'm pretty happy with them. So I'll let these cool down. And then <laughs> I don't know how these ones are going to go because these ones are thin. So they might burn. Like, honestly, they might burn. Whatever. Yeah, we got a little Mickey Mouse one there. It's, uh, you know what? We go with the flow, right? <laughs> um, we're gonna fill up a piping bag with our chocolate frosting. We're gonna do these. And then um, to make these spooky, we're gonna be making vampire bite macarons. So I'm gonna be taking a little uh, toothpick, gonna be poking some holes in these. And, and then we're gonna be dabbing a little bit of uh, strawberry jam in them to be looking like little fang bites. So hopefully they come out. All right, let's do it, guys. My husband walked into the kitchen carrying a handful of burning Q-tips. And now it stinks. <laughs> yeah, don't ask. Is, is it a coincidence that the building fire alarm went off earlier? Well, he actually wasn't around for that. That's why I wasn't around. Okay, I didn't fill this one enough. Hang on, we need more than that. Oh yeah, we need more frosting than that. 
You DJ and do karaoke shows? Fun. Okay, they're still very soft though, so I have to be very careful that I don't squish these too hard, you know? There we go. Guys, look, it's my first macaron! Baby's first macaron. I did it. I don't know. Here, let's let's mess around with it. Yeah, the lower one is the one that has the red food dye. So that like like I said, it gives it a little bit more gives it a little bit more oomph. Alright, so All right, so here is the result. What do you guys think? So it has like a little dribble of blood coming out of the fang holes. It's kind of subtle, but I sort of dig it. It's just like a little, just like a little, little puncture. How are we feeling about that? Kind of spooky, lightly spooky. It's like. It's got the little, it's got the little bites. Uh, I'm, oh, all things considered, we had, we had some hiccups, right? <laughs> but uh, all things considered, I'm, I'm super pleased with how these came out. So let that be a lesson to you guys. Even if you happen to drop a cutting board on top of your cookies, don't panic. Some of them might still be good. 